everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo, and today is October 26, it's 9.30 p.m., and the registration for Samsung One UI 3.0 beta program for the Galaxy Note 20 is now available. It became available within the last five minutes. So let me first show you where you're able to sign up, then we'll also do the update, because the area of sign up is actually different than before. So when you go inside of your Samsung folder, go inside of your Samsung members application, if you don't have Samsung members application, just go inside of the Galaxy Store and download it. Then you want to go inside of Benefits. So there's that Benefits tab. You go all the way down to the very bottom, and this is where that banner is. Usually it's on the previous screen, and it's a banner on the top, but they actually moved it. So now we're going to go inside. We're going to head on Register, and let's go down to Enroll. And then now that we're enrolled, let's just go inside of the settings and take a look for that update. But if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, you guys appreciate these tips, tricks, and tutorials, and this latest up-to-date news on Samsung Galaxy devices. So this way you're able to sign up for the Samsung One UI beta. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. So let's go right back inside of the settings, go all the way down inside of the software update download and install let's see if it's sitting there if it's not sitting there you can simply just turn off and restart your phone so let's go in ahead and do that so now that we're registered i just restarted the phone turned it right back on and it's a huge download it's over 2000 megabytes and this one is ending in the ztjg so as this one downloads right after that we will be installing this thing now this version is the exact same as the one with the galaxy s20 it ends in ztjg which means that there is no differences really between the note 20s and the s20s that i have the s20 has that second software update which meant that once they update that one we knew that this one was coming for the galaxy note 20 right after that and again this is super brand new just pushed out probably in the last 10 minutes so let's just let this thing finish up then we'll hit on install so if you guys went through and you guys hit that banner you hit on download and registered for the beta program write a comment below the video inside the description let me know which phone you have and which carrier you have just so then this way other people can see all the other carriers that are involved since this one is unlocked with an AT&T sim now as this finishes up with the app optimizing and app updating I just want to let you guys know that if you do this update as it has the little Android guy on the screen, you might notice that it'll stop at 85% for quite a while. It'll sit at 85% for a few minutes. So if you see that, don't get nervous, don't get scared. It actually does that with every single one of these huge updates. So let's take a look at the brand new lock screen. This is looking beautiful. This is looking the way that it's supposed to on Samsung One UI 3.0. Some people like this, some people don't like it. I'm a pretty big fan. I always like having a little bit of refresh when it comes down to a lot of software things. So let's just really quick take a look around at just a couple things that has been new and updated. When you go inside of the phone dialer, you go inside of the settings, you can go inside of the call background and you can change the layout and the background. So for the layout, you can choose if you want it to be larger icons and, and letters and numbers, or if you want it to be just a little bit smaller. You can also go through, you can change your background, just hit the plus button. You can add in videos or pictures. If you do choose a video, it'll be able to have the option of choosing the audio from the video as your ringtone. It's actually, you know, pretty cool. Also too, when you go inside of the gallery, if you have a photo, and let's just say that you go through and you wanted to edit this one to look a little different. Let's say that you uh, hit on that little edit button and you can see here that it has a couple pop-ups. One of them is revert and the other one is saved. Uh, and so then when you move over here, they can do also a save copy. And so I'm gonna show you that here. So let's just say that you zoomed on in and this is gonna be your brand new photo. So in Samsung One UI 3.0, you wouldn't have two images of the same thing in your gallery uh, all that's going to happen is that you'll have this brand new photo but if you wanted to go back to the original you hit on edit and you just go back to revert and it goes back to the original and then you can hit on save now let's say that you did want to have what it happened from in the in the past where it saved both images the original and the one that you just got done doing let's say that you zoom in uh, now this one you'll just go to save copy so now it's going to save a copy of this one but also keep the original. So if you went through and you made a lot of changes, uh, maybe you wrote on a bunch of things or you you did spot color or whatever, um, then you're able to keep that original. So now I'm gonna go right inside of the settings. You can see here, this is the brand new look. Everything has changed. Uh, the date and the time is gonna be right here in the very middle, it's big. You also have your devices and media pushed up to the very middle. 
Now my blue light filter is turned on. I'm just going to turn that off. I have it as a schedule and it turns on at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, then if you want to add in more shortcuts, you'd be able to hit on this add shortcut. You're able to add in more. So on top you see enhanced processing. We're just going to bring that one down. So what they did was when you took a look at all your different power modes or battery power saving modes, they actually split them up into a few of them. So they're actually all going to be individualized. So this way you can go through and you can actually, you know, choose which one you want without having to go inside of a menu and then, you know, all around. You also get this pop up right here right away. It's just a notice every single time that you turn on your phone or if it restarts, it's just you know that this one is a beta version now if you want to take a look at some updates or any notifications or notices go inside of your samsung folder then you want to go back inside of your uh, samsung members application now once inside of the samsung members you're going to notice it'll look a little different you can go back to the original but this is the main screen here it just states that you're a part of the beta program now if there's any type of notifications you're going to see it on the very top then anything that's new you just go through and you'd be able to read. Uh, this one's just talking about becoming a, a UX developer. This is talking about the first beta software update, October 27th. And you can see here it's already October 26th. So I'm definitely early. This thing just popped out. And this is giving you all the details of what is brand new with this update. But I believe I've covered this enough times that you can probably just go through and read it personally if this is something you want to take a look at. Again, the version is ZTJG. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.